Hi, and welcome to this Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make something like this. Quickly make a model and then render it using the Freestyle plugin that Blender has. Freestyle was a really useful downloadable plugin for Blender before it was included in Blender version 267. For this tutorial, I wanted to model some aircraft. And so I've just randomly chosen the Mi-24 helicopter. When modeling an aircraft, the best thing to do is just go to something like Google Images and search for some drawings for this type of aircraft that you are going to model. And then take some image processing software like Photoshop or GIMP and make the separate three views of the aircraft. After opening Blender, the first thing you may want to do here is open the display menu and find the background images submenu. From there, you can configure the three images that you have just made to be displayed in the Blender viewport. Keep in mind that each image will only be displayed along a certain axis in the orthographic view. You can use the numpad keys to quickly navigate between those views while editing. After you've placed the three images in the scene, you may notice that some of them are a little misplaced, so you may have to work with their offset a little to position them in the center according to the cube we already have here. After that, to make sure the scale on the images is correct, you may want to go to edit mode on the cube and change the scale in accordance to one of the images. After that, you may change the size of the other images to fit the scale of the model we have. And by the way, at this point, it might be good to check the reference points on the image that you use to scale them, because you really wouldn't want to misplace one of the images. Of course, with this particular model, precision isn't our main concern now, but it would just be convenient if you wouldn't have to worry about misplacing some details later while modeling the mesh. Okay, so here we are starting to model the basic shape of the helicopter's mesh. So from now on, you would basically have to keep in mind the overall shape of the future model and model it in a way that you see the most appropriate. Of course, the usual loop slide and extrusion tools would be very useful at this moment. And also we can use merge sometimes to better work on some of the loose vertices. We need to get the basic shape of the helicopter here, checking all the three views so that we can position all the vertices correctly. Uh, we have specifically set a goal of making a model for use with freestyle line rendering, so we really don't need to worry about keeping too much detail or too much precision. The only things that will be visible on the final render are mm, the basic shape outlines, so we just want to make this model quickly. Remember that you can use the 1, 3 and 7 keys on the numpad to quickly switch between the view projections and the 5 key to switch between orthographic and perspective views. To model the cockpit we can use a circle, which will be positioned as the windshield. Then we can extrude it and fill the front edge loop. Uh, you can just use the F key to do that quickly. Uh, we'll do the same for both of the cockpits. One of the reasons I chose this particular helicopter for this tutorial is that it has a pretty complex shape and what we are trying to do here is make a model with minimal details. So it's sort of a personal challenge to try and make it look right. So while adding details to the mesh, we can use whatever means are the most fitting for it be it adding extra objects or just extruding parts of the original mesh itself. We don't need to work with the original mesh when it is just easier to add another object, uh, as we will do for the landing gear and the weapon pylons. Basically everything in Blender can be modeled with a cube, especially the easy parts such as this. Well, here we see I got the background images a little misplaced, so I'm gonna try to fix that here. Uh, 
Now we are going to detail the landing gear further. We'll just use the simple shapes to do that because we don't need very much detailing for the freestyle rendering. And here we see where it is actually convenient to extrude the mesh we previously made to get more details. Uh, we'll model the landing gear like this and then delete the old duplicate to replace it with the newer one. As you see, it's beginning to look pretty good. We'll just need to fix some position in here. And so the landing gear is almost done. We'll just delete the old one, then duplicate what we just did and mirror it. Well, that's it. We'll now model the weapons using some simple primitives and then once again make a mirror copy of them for the other side of the model. You see it's pretty easy to use the extrusion techniques here to get all the pylons done. As you see these parts had a lot of extra details and yet they are so simple to model. Ok, now it's going to be a matter of adding all the main features to the model, to make it more believable and accurate. Uh, keeping in mind what actually will be displayed after the freestyle line rendering. Most small elements can be made from a cube, as the number of sides is not important here. Now, for modeling the tail propeller, I decided to go with the extrusion technique. You could also try to do it using separate objects, but I just find it more convenient to use here. Before extruding, it's good to check that the number of sides on the cylinder multiples 3, so we get the symmetry correctly. Now the helicopter's main propeller remains. I'm going to model the axle by extruding from a cylinder and then make the propeller's blades as separate objects. Now we don't have a reference for the size of the blades with the background images we use, so we are just gonna have to look up some more images to get the idea of their size. So now we can model the blades to the appropriate size and add some details to them. Uh, we could then use an array modifier to make copies of the blades, but right now it's much faster just to duplicate them and rotate them to an appropriate angle. Uh, that would be 72 degrees here. Well, now I see another prominent feature we could add to the model before we finish, and that would be the engine's exhaust pipes. So we are going to shape them before completing the model. And here comes the rendering part. To configure freestyle rendering, first you need to enable the freestyle option on the rendering menu. Then go to the layers menu to configure its settings. Here we will disable everything except freestyle, so we only have the lines on the final render. Then you can play with different freestyle options such as change the features considered during rendering and visually modify the appearance of the lines. You can play with the settings to see what you like or just follow what is shown on screen to get a similar result. When we render the image you can see that only freestyle lines are being rendered now. So let's add some blueprint-like background to the image. It's pretty easy to do from the nodes screen. We will add the image input node, select the desired picture, 
and then add the all alpha over node from the color section. After connecting all the nodes, we will have the rendering result overlaying the image. Now the image may not look exactly as we want, so we are going to add the scale node to fit the image to the render screen. And to finish up our scene, let's add some animation. We are going to center our cursor, add the empty object to the center of the helicopter, and then, through the constraints menu, make the camera the child of the empty object, uh, so that it will be effectively linked to it. Then, we are just going to add rotation animation to the empty object. Uh, you may need to make the rotation something other than the full circle for the animation to work, but you may then just fix it via the Curves Editor to give it the value of 360 degrees. And now just choose whatever video format you like and render the animation. I personally prefer to use the MPEG-4 codec. OK, our video is complete. You can now experiment with freestyle settings and modifiers to get some different results and see what you like best. It's all pretty easy to figure out. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and Blender videos. Good luck!